Hello and welcome to another Frontier Precision Tech Talk. In this session, we will be using Trimble Business Center to extract power lines from scanned data. For this demonstration, I will be using some data captured using the Trimble SX10. I will be using Trimble Business Center version 3.90 or later, and also the advanced edition with the scanning module. You will need the scanning module in order to automatically classify scan data. I'm going to automatically classify power lines, then create best fit lines off of that scan information, and finally export to a DXF or DWG file format. So what I want to do is make a selection on my default point cloud region. And then with the scanning module, we have this point clouds tab, and then we have the classify regions button. I'm going to click classify regions, and then I'm going to choose which regions I want to automatically classify. I'm going to uncheck everything except for power lines in this case and hit the extract button. So it's going to go through the entire point cloud here and um, classify anything that looks like a power line. Okay, it's going to do um, a lot of the work automatically for us, but not 100% of it. Uh, as we can see here, um, there are some spots where we would need to go in and choose portions of, of what it missed, um, whether it was uh, not a dense enough point cloud or um, the geometry of it just didn't look right. Uh, but for the most part, it did a pretty good job of figuring out uh, what was a power line and what wasn't. Okay, so now I'm going to close my extract classified point clouds regions um, pane on the right hand side. And then in my view filter manager, I have this new point cloud region. Uh, called power lines. I'm going to turn off the default, which is everything else. And now I'm just looking at my power lines. So this is still scan data, uh, but really it cleans up the project for us or it cleans up the screen so that we're just looking at the at the power lines um, from here. So uh, now what we want to do is draw in those power lines with a uh, with some CAD functionality. So under our CAD tool um, under our CAD tab we have this tool called best fit line and I think this is going to be a good tool for this occasion um, so using my polygon select tool I'm going to select a portion of this scan actually I'm going to deselect everything first and then select um, this power line scan double click to enclose the polygon and then I'm going to click on the best fit line tool and that should open up a pane on the right hand side here we have selected 3200 points about um, those are all 3d points from the scan data and we could either choose a uh, we can choose a line type from here. So we could choose a straight line um, in 2D, a straight line 3D, or a curve line in 2D and 3D. So for this, I want to choose a polynomial curve 3D line. We can adjust the polynomial degree, um, increase that or decrease that as we want. I'm going to stick with a, a level 2, and then I'm going to throw that on my, poly, uh, my power lines layer. Okay, and then I'm going to hit the apply button. And there you see it drew in that best fit line according to what we had for scan data. I'll rotate around and just kind of zoom into that area and show you that um, it created that best fit curve line um, for that power line. And we can proceed to do this with the, the rest of the data here that we have. Um, I just want to make sure that I select a single line at a time. and then just keep hitting the apply button and it's pretty simple to just go about oops just go about um, creating this information using that best fit line tool uh, looking at our plan view now um, what we have is uh, just a top-down view we can turn off um, that power lines point cloud region and really see there's our um, our poly lines there so from here uh, what we might want to do is, is export this data to a DXF or a DWG. So I'm going to go ahead and select 
um, the data that we want to export. Just those two lines there. I'm going to go to Home, Export, and then I'm going to choose from my CAD tab um, either a DWG or a DXF. And then I can hit the Export button, and, um, and then we have a, a DXF file that we can um, use on our data collector or, or wherever that data is, is intended to go. That concludes today's Tech Talk. We hope you found this video beneficial and will join us again next time. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to send us an email at survey underscore support at frontierprecision.com. Thanks and have a great day.